Are you going to pay for the sick puppy? 10 News confronts the owner of local pet stores accused of selling sick animals to unsuspecting customers. Our 10 News reporter Emily Thode is on this story in National City. And Emily, devastated pet owners may not get a dime from this guy. Yeah, so I want to show you, this is the guy's only remaining pet store. We're at National City Puppy, and here on the sign it says our puppies are happy, healthy, loving, and guaranteed up to 10 years, but one woman tells me it's not true. My dad had always wanted a chocolate lab. Marissa Edwards found Hurley at Oceanside Puppy, the same pet store that drew protesters this year. <laughs> They accused the owner, David Salinas, of buying dogs from puppy mills. Edwards didn't know any of this. Turns out, Hurley had a problem. It turned out that he um, had full hip dysplasia at less than a year old. Hurley needed hip replacement surgery. The vet bills more than $10,000. But Hurley, like all the puppies Salinas sells, was supposed to be under warranty. The sign at his National City store says for 10 years. But this year, Salinas was forced to close his Oceanside and San Marcos' stores. The city's banned stores selling non-rescue cats and dogs. Edward says she got this email from David Salinas saying, quote, it was our intent to pay back your claim. However, the city of San Marcos and Oceanside are the sole culprits. On Yelp, we found a handful of people claiming to have also annoyingly bought sick dogs from National City Puppy. 10 News learned Salinas filed for personal bankruptcy, so we went to find him. People are alleging that you sold sick puppies and that you still owe for vet bills. Does this mean you're going to pay? are not going to pay. We know you're yeah. filing for bankruptcy. Okay, well, thank you very much. Are I'm you going to pay right for the if sick puppy? I'm not going to comment right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Frankly, I feel like it's his way to kind of get around. It's, he's finding a loophole. So on his website, Selena says, our puppies are from federally and state licensed breeders, and we've set strict requirements for our breeders. In National City, Emily Thode, 10 News.